Days after the Naga Students Federation's office was demolished in the middle of the night, members of the NSF and its supporters staged a protest near the ruins. The NSF issued a call to all its federating units and subordinate bodies to send their members to take part in the sit-in. Meanwhile, the Naga Club has claimed responsibility for the demolition. Through a letter to the office in charge of the North Police Station, it clarified that tenants of the building were asked to vacate it. At Monday's protest, NSF President Kiwa Hyun Tep questioned why the demolition was carried out in the middle of the night. So we are appealing to all the sympathizers and concerned uh, Naga citizens to uh, come and extend their solidarity and sympathy uh, to the Naga Students Federation. The Naga Club has claimed that uh, it is a demolition that they did on their own land and property. What do you have to say in this regard? Uh, to comment on that, uh, let me also raise one question. If they are legally claiming that this is their property, then they should be uh, able to come and destroy or for that matter demolish the house in a daytime. They came like a thief and act, acted like a terrorist. So that is very questionable where it should be answered by all the Naga people. Student leader turned MLA Achumbemo Kikon, who joined the protest, said that the demolition of the building was an emotional moment for him. He also said that the culprits who took the law into their hands should be booked as per law. You see, it's an emotional moment for me especially. I have associated myself in this office for almost 13 years. Uh, I have served in this office in various capacities, including speaker and president, till 2005. So it's uh, quite sentimental and uh, emotional for me. Uh, how can uh, people behave like this? Now, uh, the NSF at no point of time uh, tried to change the uh, nomenclature of the location. You see, they have destroyed the signboard, otherwise you have been uh, coming across uh, it during in its uh, good condition, when while well it was hoarded in, in front of the main entrance, office of the Naga Stu Students Federation. Naga Club Building, Kohima, and these have been the, you, we have been using this for uh, almost uh, three, four decades now. Naga Club, formed in 1918, has uh, done their part, and uh, through their memorandum submission to the Simon Commission, we have placed the Naga issue in the right perspective, and our foundation is strong because of that uh, memorandum. Well, uh, the race is history. After that, uh, the actually from 1947 onwards, after the formation of the Naga Students Federation, we are actually, you know, the, the Naga NSF have been carding the issue, strengthening the movement. The headquarters of the Naga Students Federation at the decades-old Naga Club building in Kohima was vandalized by miscreants on Saturday morning. An FIR has been lodged at the Kohima North Police Station. At the building, the NSF shared offices with the All Nagaland College Students' Union, while a room was allotted for the Kohima Press Club. Four shops and two printing presses in the building were also vandalized in the night. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.